Hey everyone, today I want to share with you five Premiere Pro hacks that will help you edit faster in Premiere Pro. So I hope you're ready because my first tip would be to allocate as much RAM as you have to Premiere Pro. Because the more RAM Premiere Pro can work with, the smoother the editing will be. In order to do that, go to Edit, Preferences and Memory. This window will pop up and right here you will see RAM reserved for other applications. Just slide the blue number all the way to the left and that will be the minimum of RAM that needs to be reserved for all the other applications, which means that you have maximized the RAM available for Premiere Pro. My next tip or little hack is to skip the bins. And yes, I know, I've been telling you all this time to create bins because I want you to organize everything and to work in an organized way. But what if I told you that you can just skip the bins because you're already making bins when you're importing your footage. Usually, if you're importing your footage to your computer, you create folders. If you're using multiple cameras, you're creating folders per camera, or if you're on different locations or different days, you're probably already creating folders. And if you're not, go do that. So instead of creating bins and having to import all the footage from every folder to every bin, you can just select all of those folders and drag those to your project manager. That way you're importing the folders, including all of the footage, and they will already work as bins in Premiere Pro. So that's, that's a little hack there for you. This may be an obvious one for some of you, but I know that not everyone is using it. And that is to use your workspaces. They are there for a reason. They are there because they're designed for you to make the editing process easier and more convenient and just more efficient. So for example, if you're done with the editing and you want to color grade your footage and you want to color correct your footage, if you open up the color workspace, you'll get all the tools you need. But if this design doesn't work for you, you can customize the workspaces and you can easily customize the workspaces by just clicking on one of those windows, holding it and then move them around to wherever you want it to be, whatever makes sense for you. And when you're happy with the workspace and you want to save it, just go to window workspaces and then save the changes to this layout or save as a new workspace. And I personally would recommend to save it as a new workspace so you always have the other workspace to go back to. Sometimes we have a bunch of stuff to do. We have a bunch of client work or we have a bunch of YouTube videos that we just batched and now we just wanna edit it back to back to back. So we don't have any time to wait for all the videos to be exported in order to start editing another video. Well, I have a nice little hack for you that I use all the time because it allows me to keep editing while the other videos are being exported. And in order to do this, go to File, Export and Media. So basically the same thing that you would do if you were to export the video, then change all the output settings and the output name. But instead of clicking on Export, click on Q. When you click on Q, the Adobe Media Encoder will automatically be launched. And then when you click on this green little play button, you'll see that the video is being exported. And while it is being exported, you can still go back to Premiere Pro, close this project, open another project and start editing. I mean, I think it is a great hack if you have a lot of work to do and you just wanna add it back to back to back. So definitely try that if you haven't already. Another great hack or tip is to optimize Premiere Pro's performance and making it super fast. And yes, I already kind of said this when I told you in the first tip to give it as much RAM as you have, give it all the RAM, make it as fast as possible, but there's also other ways to make it faster. And the faster the program, the less you have to wait because there is no lagging and the faster you can edit and the faster you can be done with your project and do other stuff or just move on with your life. And if you want to know what those ways are, make sure to check out this video and of course hit subscribe and the notification bell in case you want to be notified and so we can see each other in the next video. I'm going to sneeze. Oh my god. <laughs>